In the early hours of the morning, the US military moved its hardware into place. Protesters greeted the convoy of trucks as it moved through communities neighboring the site of the missile defense facility. They say it's too soon to start installation because an environmental survey hasn't been completed and people are worried about the potential health effects of the THAAD radar system. The US and South Korean government signed an agreement to construct the facility last year and they want it operational as soon as possible. The move is likely to be seen as another provocation north of the demilitarized zone. North Korea marked the 85th anniversary of the founding of its military with an artillery drill, attended by leader Kim Jong-un. There had been concerns it would celebrate in a more threatening way, possibly with another nuclear test. The South Korean government says maybe the message is getting through to the north. North Korea should never make provocations with nuclear or missile tests as it hurts peace and stability. So such messages might have influenced Pyongyang or it made a reasonable decision on its own. It's a great relief that North Korea did not conduct nuclear or missile provocations. That may have been the result of pressure from the North's ally, China. The United States and its allies want Beijing to introduce tougher sanctions on Pyongyang, such as restricting oil supplies. In North Korea, the price of petrol has almost doubled in the past week and some stations have closed. It's not clear if the Chinese have already restricted supplies or the North Korean government is stockpiling and limiting supplies. As usual, it's the people of North Korea who suffer during these times of increased tension, particularly when sanctions are tightened. But South Korea, the United States and Japan say diplomacy and non-military tactics are still the best way forward. At the same time, the U.S. military continues to build up its hardware, preparing for possible confrontation. The aircraft carrier Carl Vinson and its supporting ships are heading towards the peninsula. On their way, they carried out exercises with Japan's Air Self-Defense Force in the Philippine Sea. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Seoul.